Here's how we make hot compost piles using our pasture raised laying hens. I've got a hot compost pile right here that was made several weeks ago. It is currently sitting at about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And we made this pile and this pile using our pasture raised laying hens in this system that you see here. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. Let's dive in. So what you're seeing here is our Eggmobile chicken coop that is mobile, we can move it around. And we rotate these chickens around um, every couple of weeks to new ground. Now it's not very green right now because it is winter time. But what I wanna show you is the system that we've created in order to make compost with chicken manure. So this coop is specifically designed to be mobile, but it also has a, uh, the metal mesh flooring from the trailer. And what this allows for is when these chickens roost at night on the roosting bars, they're dropping all of that manure, which they're gonna release and drop most of their manure at nighttime. All of that manure is gonna be falling through wherever this coop is parked, okay? So what we have done is we've created a deep litter bedding system underneath the coop and to kind of contain that carbon material which carbon material is just brown material leaves wood chips things like that we've created a system here with these wooden boards and some hinges because our slope here goes downhill all the material typically is going to stay contained in this system all that manure is going to fall down after several weeks what we'll do is we're then going to scoop out all of that bedding material into a large compost pile just like this now this is just old fencing material you can connect it with zip ties or you can connect it with uh, some string and we're going to scoop all of that material up into this big pile and water it in really good because you do want a good amount of moisture in your compost pile and as you can see this has been several weeks now and this pile is nice and hot okay so what we'll do is we'll move our fencing on down into a new paddock they'll be onto new ground new pasture while also us being able to make compost most systems that i have seen in order to make compost with chickens typically is in a static location like they don't move them they don't raise them out on pasture because typically in pasture raised systems with chickens you're fertilizing all the pasture and all the grasses and whatnot in this context we can do both at the same time we have the ability for the hens to be onto new ground, not staying in a static location, being able to forage on bugs and grasses and all of that, while also making compost. So as I was showing earlier, I've got a compost pile up here, I've got a compost pile here, and then after we move these chickens to the next paddock, we'll have another compost pile here. And they'll work all the way down to the bottom of the pasture, and then we'll start them all the way back at the top of the hill. So yes, you will have these piles lying around, but what's great about this is now we're creating compost that can then go on the market gardens. So we're closing the loop on the fertility cycle and we're leveraging all of the incredible fertility that comes from chickens and their manure. It is an incredible resource and we don't want all of that to just go down and fertilize grass, which is gonna naturally happen as these chickens move about and eat and forage. They're gonna drop their manure out on the pasture, but the vast majority of it we're containing and capturing underneath the coop. So all we'll do for the next paddock, we'll move the fencing, we'll move the coop, we'll bring in more carbon material, and we'll restart the process. And that's the way we're creating compost with these chickens. 